Yeah, 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 what's going on? Welcome to Ironclad RC. Got the Delta Force 35 out here today. Gonna be uh, doing some trim tab adjustments, messing around with trim tabs. I'm gonna kind of go over some tips, some tuning tips. Uh, you know, what the boat does with the trim tabs down, what the boat does with the trim tabs up, why you may need trim tabs, and why trim tabs will benefit you and your RC boat. So stick around, stick around. Don't blink, don't blink. Big B here with Ironclad RC. Got twin Z's, twin packs in the boat. Two 2S two packs. We're gonna run it on 4S today. Got a TP Power 4060 with a fly color 150 amp ESC. We've got the the trim tabs all the way down. You can see how they're they're angled down. You see that on both sides. I got them basically bottomed out on both screws. So let's check it out. Let's see what it does with the trim tabs all the way down. All right, you see how wet she's running? Pay attention to the spray off the back. Pay attention to the spray off the sides of the boat. See how wet it is? See how stable the boat is and like set into the water when it's running? It's called running wet. See how she's running wet? So it actually looks like the boat's running good. See that? But, it, but it's too wet. If you're trying for speed, if you want speed, you don't want your boat to run wet. You want it to run kind of dry up out of the water. You use your, your trim tabs in conjunction with your strut and you can basically make your boat do anything you want it to do, basically. Uh, you have three points of adjustment here, all right? So, uh, so that was all the way down. Let's go, let's go, uh, Let's go all the way up with the left trim tab so you guys can see uh, what the boat does in one extreme to another, all right? And I'm going to push my trim tab up, all right? So I got one down and one up, okay? Now watch how the boat acts. Trim tabs will help you if you have a list on your boat. If you're when you're running your boat wanting to ride like uh, listing to one side or the other, you can use your trim tab to trim out that list so your boat runs true. Okay, so let's uh, ooh, ain't bad. let's see what it does with one up and one down. Watch the angle of the boat. See how the boat's wanting to lean to the left? See how she's leaning? She's actually leaning to one side. See if I can get a better shot. All right, so you can see it now. See how the spray's coming off one side of the boat and the boat's actually leaning? In this configuration right here, this will actually take care of some of the prop roll. If your boat has a, if you have a big prop, and she's wanting to like torque roll, chine walk, you know, like that number there. You can run one trim tab down, one trim tab up, and that'll take care of a lot of that tr that like torque roll. All right, so let's go all the way up, extreme up on both of them. All right. So that's extreme up on both trim tabs with the strut in a neutral position. All right, all the way up on the trim tabs. Let's see how it runs. So it should run dry. With the trim tabs up, that's gonna get the bow of the boat up. So let's see what she does. Oh yeah, see how squirrely she was? All the way up out of the water. You see that? See that right there? So that's actually good and bad. You know, you, you, you don't want your boat all the way out of the water because you won't have any control. But you want it up out of the water so you can get speed. But you see how squirrely it's wanting to act? Look at this. See how she's wanting to fly? Almost wanting to actually flip over. Let's see what it does with the trim tabs all the way down. All right, you see how wet she's running? You see that? All the way out of the water down. All right, you see how wet she's running? With the trim tabs all the way up. You see that? 
All right, so let's go normally to compensate for torque roll you would put your right trim tab down to compensate for the torque roll to keep pressure on the right side of the boat so when she torque rolls it'll kind of correct it all right so let's do the opposite let's do the opposite of what we of what we're supposed to do all right so we're going to put down trim on the left side and let's see what the boat does with down trim on the left so it's probably going to chine walk like crazy all right yeah see how she's bobbing back and forth see how the boat's angled to one side see how it's wanting to bounce side to side like that so it's uneven all right now let's uh now let's start fine-tuning the boat so we can get it to run right. All right, so I put the left down. Let's go back up with the left. And uh, basically put it in line with the bottom of the hole. All right, so basically in line with the bottom of the boat. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. All right, so it's actually sneaking up on where we want it. See how she's running? Got a nice rooster tail off the back. No, no like torque roll. See that? The boat's riding level. Oh, that battery's dead. All right, so let's change the battery out. I got the battery, I got the lid off. Let's check the heat, 101 on the ESC. 100 on the, on the motor. All right, that's not bad. So really you've got, you've got your strut. You can make adjustments with on your boat to get a better ride. You've got, your trim tabs you can use to get a better rod to trim the boat out and you have weight distribution to help trim your boat out all right so with those three things you should be able to get just about any mono hull to run right before we go out i'm just going to go down a little bit on this trim tab just a hair on this one my new adjustments you know you don't have to go crazy half turns on your screw full turns when you're trying to get it tuned in eighths of a turn when you're fine tuning oh wow so she's actually running good now watch this no bounce no list She's running good. A little bit dry, I guess I'd say. A little, little dry. So, all right. So I want a little bit more control of my boat. If you want a little more control, you don't want it to run too dry. If, if it's running too dry, you're not going to have much control when you're at high speeds. So I'm going to go down because I want a little control. I don't want no torque roll, so I'm going to go almost a full turn on the right one and a quarter turn on my left one. All right, let's see how that does. Minute adjustment. All right, so it's actually bouncing now. All right, so if it's bouncing like that, I can see a little bounce in it. All right, so if it's bouncing like that, that means you got too much down trim and that's pushing the bow of the boat down and she's wanting to come back up, porpoising, up and down, up and down. I'm going to go back up a half a turn on my right one. So going up a half a turn and then maybe an eighth of a turn, quarter turn on this left one. Let's see what that does. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Let's go one more time. You gotta pay close attention to it. All right, so she's wanting a torque roll. Let's go. Uh, let's go down with the right one again. So she was wanting a torque roll a little bit. Let's go down a hair with the right one, and down with the left one, just a hair. I'm telling you, it don't take much. Much adjustments. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. No torque roll. Yeah, Very good. Let's see. All right, so she's leaning to the right. So let's go in. See how she's wanting to, to lean to the right. Let's see. Yeah, she's wanting to lean to the right. All right, so she was wanting to, she was running like this. All right, so I'm gonna try to pick this right side up so she runs level, so she's not listing when she's running. And what I'm doing is just going down with the, on the side the list is on, like the downside. So we're gonna go down with the trim tab. I just did about probably a full, well, a half turn, I would say. Let's see if she's still listing. Not as bad, all right. Yeah, not as bad as it was just now. Yeah, so she's actually running good, all right. Yeah, yeah, that's where I, that's kind of the way I like mine to run. All right, I'm gonna go down just a hair more on that right one since I'm running a big prop. All right, so down just a little little bit more we'll go down with this one just a hair all right all right she's running flat at low speed all right she's running flat at high speed yeah yeah she's running flat no list no bounce a little bit wet she's a little wet She's a little bit wet. I actually like the way it's running, <clears throat> but it's running too deep into the water. So I'm gonna go out with both of my tabs. I'm gonna go up, quarter turn, up, a quarter turn on both of them. Cause it was running flat. It was just wanting to bounce. So let's see how that does. And she was running a little bit wet with a bounce, so let's see how that does. So when you're trimming your boat out, if it's wanting to list to one side, it'll actually cause the boat to veer to that side. So, you know, kind of pay attention to your rudder too. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice, look at that. Nice, running flat. Yeah, it's too much out of the water, so I need to go down with my left one. I bet that's it right there. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. That is it. Yeah, that's her. No bounce, not out of the water too much, not down in the water too much. It's like perfect. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. She's out of the water. No, you know, not too much, not, not too, not too dry to where I can't turn it and, and steer the boat at high speed. Yeah. I have full, full turning at high speed. Oh, that's, that's running right. That is right, right there. Just kind of 
just kind of like uh, you know just do micro adjustments on it until you get it to where you want it. sometimes you know would you put different props on you might have to adjust the trim uh, I really didn't like adjust the strut any today because I have my strut set where I want it but uh, she's actually running pretty good y'all she's running pretty good see my modded out rudder like I, I build up some some aluminum right here with aluminum weld so it catches more water and it's been working real good cooling my boat off I've got water in here for some reason what the hell So with trim tabs and your strut and weight distribution, man, you could do anything with a boat. Oh, that's not bad. Ain't no water in here. Shit. Oh, that's good. That ain't bad. A little bit, but not bad. Hell, that's perfect. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check the temps. Make sure the temp's good. 110. 106. I can't believe this thing's running that cool. That plate right there helped that cooling plate i hooked up to this thing helped this boat out a lot because she used to run and it's august right now she used to run in the 130s with this setup right here and uh with this cooling plate i added this in an old video you guys should check it out it's actually helped out a lot i'm super stoked about that pretty simple i mean down pushes the boat bow the boat down up pushes the bow of the boat up one side up one side down will cause it to list vice versa so um with these three components back here your strut your trim tabs you could basically get your boat uh running perfect any boat running perfect uh catamarans a lot of guys are starting to put trim tabs on catamarans that's the new thing i guess so i've always heard of trim tabs being used on mono holes and catamarans being uh tuned with the strut a lot of guys say oh you could tune your boat with, with the strut alone on a mono hull i beg to differ uh just adjusting this thrust angle it will uh get your boat to ride you know better but it, it doesn't do the same thing as a trim tab for a fact yeah, i it hope does. you guys enjoyed the video i just wanted to run the delta force i wanted to make a quick trim trim tab video i had a couple guys asking about it uh in some comments so there you go there you go hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Big B with Ironclad RC. We'll see you guys next time.